some like it hot, especially these three beauties, Marilyn Monroe, Tony Curtis and Jack Lemmon, tomorrow night at 8.20 on BBC Two. Join us on Sunday for a spectacular evening filled with a galaxy of light entertainment stars from the firmament of television comedy. We do it for tea. It's cauliflower cheese today. <laughs> Due to budget cuts, Ronnie Barker will be playing all parts. My name is Mr. Stroke, Mrs. Barker. <laughs> Welcome to her happy hour. <laughs> you have all been chosen for your general facial resemblance to her majesty. Ronnie Barker, a man of character, tonight at 8 on BBC One. I get Sir Fabian Ormerod to marry me. That's it. That's a great plan that's going to get us out of here, isn't it? To have and to hold. It's going to be the beginning of a new life. You'd have to sleep with him. Don't you think I've thought about that? For better, for worse. I'm never going to let you go. For poorer, for richer. People like them, they owe people like us. Who is she? She has no background. Bank holiday weekend drama, The Beggar Bride begins tonight at nine on BBC One. Coming out from between the shelves now on BBC One, The Bookworm. <laughs> Hello, welcome to another edition of The Bookworm, and today we're here in Hampshire on the trail of the current Duchess of Daring Do, the Queen of Crime Writers, Minette Walters. Also on today's programme, an 800-page history of the Russian Revolution that reads like a novel. The drunken mobs went on the rampage. Shops and liquor stores were looted. Sailors and soldiers went around the well-to-do district robbing apartments and killing people for sport. At last, the alcohol ran out with the old year, and the capital woke up with the biggest hangover in history. Author Babette Cole on why sex, divorce and intestinal parasites are required reading for kids. He's caught worms, said Dr Dog. They are breeding in his tubes. Never scratch your bum and suck your thumb, said Dr Dog. And an update on our hunt for the nation's favourite children's book. Crime writers like to visit a variety of places to get their inspiration. Conan Doyle used to frequent lunatic asylums, and Patricia Cornwall has been known to moonlight in morgues. Minette Walters, on the other hand, likes to go to prison. Just for a visit, obviously. Olive Martin, you stand convicted on two counts of murder. You are sentenced to life imprisonment on each count. You'll be separated from her by a table. You can give her cigarettes, but don't give her anything to take back into herself. Understand? I'm a prison visitor at Winchester Prison, and uh, I've been doing it for about eight years now. It really has nothing to do with my writing in so far as I, I don't use it for um, to gain material for plot. Um, I do it because I enjoy it. I think it's very important to remember that crime fiction is fantasy. Bearing in mind it's fantasy, you want to make the fantasy real. And in order to do that, I set up a handful of people who might have committed murder. She had carved her mother and sister into little pieces and rearranged the bits in bloody abstract on her kitchen floor. Few who saw her could forget it. What made her unusual, apart from the crime itself, was that she had pleaded guilty and refused to offer a defence. I was having trouble finding Olive when I was trying to build the characters in The Sculptress. I wanted her to be intimidating and I was in the prison one day and I was given a new prisoner to see. And uh, he really was a very